Hi everyone! So for this video I'm going to be doing a product demo and review. Well it's actually a makeup demo and review because I did mention in the Q&A that all my eyeshadows at the moment are from Etsy.com but I realized that a lot of you have probably never tried like I guess kind of like getting makeup from like small individual sellers. You've probably mostly gotten it from places like Whole Foods or from drugstore, you know, like CVS and stuff like that. So just to kind of let you know the quality and what to expect from these kinds of like eyeshadows, I decided to do this video since I actually just recently placed an order and so my order arrived. So this is literally going to be like an unboxing haul video because I literally did not open the like I didn't open up the eyeshadows yet, so we get to discover them together. So let's just get started on this video. Okay, so, alright, so just to let you know, I did, like I said, I ordered these from Etsy.com. These are vegan, natural, mineral, organic eyeshadows. So yeah, I mentioned in the Q&A that a couple years back I had nothing but eye problems, like eye infections constantly. So I literally tossed all my makeup and decided to go organic and natural because I wasn't sure what was causing the eye infections. So yeah, so that's why right now I still have a ton of eyeshadows, but I am getting a little bored of my eyeshadow colors at the moment, so that's why I placed an order. So the person, the um, Etsy shop that I purchased from is called Willow Tree Minerals. Um, now I am going to warn you about Etsy because I'm sure a lot of you who've never tried buying eyeshadows from there, you have no idea what could happen. So I'm going to just tell you what your options are. So when you buy from Etsy, you can get organic natural stuff really, really cheap. So like each one of my eyeshadows, um, this is the packaging by the way. So each of these eyeshadows cost me three bucks and then I paid like three dollars four dollars for shipping something like that so I got quite a few eyeshadows just FYI um, but basically when you when I first started on Etsy I encountered different things with different shops some shops the packaging was so awful that I just was tempted to throw the product away like for example I I bought from a seller she literally sent me the eyeshadows wrapped in like aluminum foil no label so I, even if I wanted to order from her again, I don't know what color it is. I don't know what her shop is. I don't even know what it is. Even now when I see it, I'm just like, what is this? And then she put it in like this really cheap plastic thing. It just looks so awful. I was tempted to toss it. Yeah, so with some of the shops, some of them don't have their stuff together with the shops. Like selling and stuff, they're just not quite there yet or they should be. So with some shops, they will, you can get a really, really good price on really good stuff, but some of them, the packaging will be terrible, the label will be terrible, some of them, the label just wore off completely, really quickly, um, or there's just, they charge too much for shipping, I encountered that with some shops, or some of the organic sellers will charge too much, which the point of going to Etsy is to get a steal on like organic stuff, so for you to charge like whole food prices, ain't gonna cut it. But then if you're a shopper, you're not likely going to buy from them anyway. So yes, but I mostly, I have to say, um, I mostly have had all good experiences on Etsy.com. I have had issues with like shipping. For instance, I recently placed a purchase and the seller just, I don't know what happened. She got sick, she says, but my order wasn't mailed for two weeks and she just completely forgot about it until I messaged her and I'm kind of like, where's my stuff? But that wasn't actually eyeshadows. But still the point is with Etsy shops, you never know where you're going to get. So because of that, I limit my shopping to two stores. So whenever I buy organic vegan eyeshadows from Etsy, I just don't even try new sellers anymore. I stick with these two stores. And these two shops, the two shops are Willow Tree Minerals, the one that I'm going to be showing you guys today. And the other one is Addictive Cosmetics. I love them because their price point is like on point. I love the ingredient list. It is definitely on my alley you get a lot of product for the price and then they just have so many eyeshadow colors to choose from so instead of buying from several shops I can just buy from the one shop and get a range of eyeshadow colors from green blue gray black on down so that's why I just stick with them so 
just FYI on that I will put information about those two shops in the description bar below but I just wanted to let you know what you will encounter if you experiment with shops other than these two the different things you might encounter but for the most part I'd say most Etsy sellers are really really good they ship fast and the product is literally what you see is what you get so I do like that about Etsy so I still continue to use it I just don't experiment with eyeshadow sellers as much as I used to just because I encountered so much different stuff so that's why I only bought from Willow Tree Minerals this time I have so many addictive cosmetics eyeshadows that I don't need to buy anymore but um, I was getting kind of low on my Willow Tree Minerals so now let's that's that's why let's just get started so I can show you my Willow Tree Mineral eyeshadows Yay! okay so let's unbox okay so uh, I threw away the outer part but everything else literally I just took the outer packaging out like the part that you know has like the postal address and stuff just because it was so dirty <laughs> it was just so dirty so yes but I did opening thing everything is this is just how it comes so this seller she puts it in a bag and it has her sticker so this is the willow tree minerals a sticker right here it's really nice um it's better than some of the labels i've seen for some of the etsy sellers okay so you guys can see from the back the different range of colors that i purchased um i literally i tend to go for golds and browns but i experimented i want some new colors so that's why i purchased this time so i got blue i got a really vibrant yellow i'm not sure how i'm gonna wear this I'm not sure yet because it's pretty bright <laughs> and then I got a pink one which I was hoping to use for summer I got a green I do love green eyeshadows but they are hard they are very hard to work with to make them look really good um, but I, I got also this color is more of an everyday kind of color that I would wear it's a yellow and then I also got some browns here so you can kind of see the range I got how many shadows so there's nine in this packet but in this one I got five I bought quite a few shadows so I bought a total of 14 shadows nine and then five so 14 and then she sent me like a little freebie and the little plastic thing okay so let's open this okay so let's do this yay kind of excited I'm so bored of my eyeshadows like right now <laughs> okay so is what we have okay so the front of the label tells you the color and then it tells you of course willow tree willow tree minerals and then she also has her own website willowtreeminerals.com so she doesn't have like her Etsy like link on the front yeah so the colors that I got are bright blueberry lively lemon shell shell shadow I got ice latte whisper forbidden fruit cider cognac shadow sugared almond shadow and then what's in this one what's in this one okay, let's see what's in here okay so the colors that i got for this one are what colors i got spring lilac candied violet shadow rainforest and what are these two colors? Sunkissed Ginger and Grapefruit Shadow. Okay, so let me show you closer. So this is the little freebie she put in like a little plastic bag. And again, it has her label on the front here and the color, yeah. So this is the Flawless Finishing Veal Medium. So I guess this is her powder foundation. Okay, and so these are the colors. You can see better now that I took out the freebie. So I got quite a few like pinkish ones, but I also got a purple and I got a green. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch like every single one of these colors for you guys. So let's start swatching. So right before getting into the swatches, I did wanna show you the colors up close and personal so that you can see the range that I got. I got like blues, browns, yellows, pinks, greens, and even kind of purple colors. This is what the front of the eyeshadows looks like. You see the name and you also see the shop logo and the shop name on it as well. So this is the front side.
I just love these eyeshadows. They are so pigmented. That yellow is so beautiful and I love how glittery they are. If you're not into glittered shadows, then you might not like these, but I just love glittered shadows. Look at those purples! Oh my gosh, these are going to be like two of my new favorite colors, seriously. And I just love the sun-kissed, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I wonder if I can find a way to rock that blue, but these browns, oh my gosh, I love that brown color, it's so beautiful. Okay, so the jars. So with my order, I mostly got all samples except for two. Two I got full sizes of, and the full size one come in the jar you're seeing me mess with right now. These, I think, are called sifter jars. So there's like dots, like five dots in the front and the very top of the lid, and you just kind of sprinkle the product out so you get less product and you don't waste as much, and you get to control how much product comes out. Versus the samples came in like a container where you just stick your you stick your hand in there, your finger, and you get the product that way. You tend to pick up more product that way though, you tend to waste a little bit more, but you still get a lot of product. And then here are the swatches. I am seriously loving Ice Latte and Whisper. Look at that yellow, oh my gosh. And Sugared Almond is really pretty too. I am so surprised by that color, it is so lovely. I cannot wait to try that. I can tell you right now that Cognac and me are going to be spending a lot of time together. My favorite among these colors is definitely Spring Lilac and Sunkissed Ginger. Oh my gosh, Sunkissed Ginger would be so good with my skin tone. Here you can really see the difference between the sample jars and the full size jars. So the shifter or sifter jars versus the regular jars. There's no covering basically for the sample ones so you can get more product out at once. I wanted to show you how much product you get in one sample size jar. This is one sample size jar. Do you see how much product that is? That is a lot of product for $3. It should last you a good while. It is such a good deal.
So this is how you get product out of the shifter jars. So you just tap your finger. You can tap it while the lid is still on it and then just get the product that way. Or you can tap it into your hand like I did here. And then you can pick it up with your finger and apply it to your eyes. Or you can just dip your finger directly on top of the lid and get what comes out that way. a freebie I was given with my order this is the Willow Tree Minerals Flawless Finishing Veal Medium Foundation so yeah that is the end of this video this is like my first makeup swatch review video I believe I don't think I've actually swatched any products on my channel yet so this is like the first one so I'm excited that I did this <laughs> so as always um, thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you ain't already because I got some cool videos and you will like them I hope mm. so thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time ciao